I'm here in Medjugorje and I'm in front of St. James Church and I'm with, what's your name? I'm with Bianca. Bianca, where are you from? I'm from Trinidad. Is it really so beautiful in Trinidad? It is spectacular in Trinidad. So after Medjugorje, <laughs> we all go to Trinidad to Bay That's a fantastic from? idea. Everybody come and visit. And tell me, how did you um, hear about Medjugorje for the first time and what did you saw when you heard about Medjugorje? I heard about Medjugorje from my mum. Mm -hmm. She's been here, this is her fourth time, mm -hmm. and she booked in May. And in May, she called me and told me, Bianca, you are going to Medjugorje with me. No questions asked. And what did, what did you think? Um, I said, no, I can't do it. I have two daughters and my husband has never been alone with them. Far less for one night. No way can he do it for two weeks. Because <laughs> um, it takes two days to yeah. get here. And then we're here for eight days and then another yeah. two or three days to get back. Mm -hmm. um, but she said, no, now is the time. There's no better time than now. And so here I am. <laughs> Unbelievable. And how was the experience? It was way better than I could have ever imagined. In which way? <sighs> so, hmm, that's a good, good, good question. I, just like many of us, have fallen into just hiding our faith, not really talking about it as much. And, and you know, there's so many other people around us that may not be comfortable with openly um, practicing your religion or even speaking of it yeah. but then you come to Medjugorje and there are thousands and thousands of people that want to share their stories share their faith we're all here with a different story and different reason for being here and it is unbelievably beautiful getting to experience that all together and the power of prayer we're all like-minded and just that we want to be closer to God and to feel that peace within us. Mm -hmm. So I've just been blown away by feeling that alongside thousands of other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what did you like most here? Do you have a place you like most? Uh, Adoration, Cross Mountain, other Apparition Hill? Apparition Hill, definitely. Just mm -hmm. being with Mary and seeing everyone on their knees, everyone giving up everything to her. Um, and we all just love that hope and that motherly love, feeling that with her standing over us on top of a mountain, mm -hmm. overlooking uh, much gory is fantastic. <laughs> you pray the rosary? I do at night, every night with my girls, I pray the rosary. Really? Sometimes they don't like it, not the whole thing, sometimes mm -hmm. just an Our Father and Ten Hail Marys. Mm -hmm. They don't like it because it puts them to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> like so when I say, <laughs> when I say, all right, it's time to pray, they go, oh no, and it's only because <laughs> they the get so day. relaxed, <laughs> yeah. they can't even make it to Two Hail Marys and they're fast asleep. <laughs> So then I just continue it myself and uh -huh. while I lay down next to them, I continue my prayers and mm -hmm. it is just a lovely way to end the day. What is them. so special for you about the, the rosary prayer? Yeah, um, I just love the repetition and just the reminder that God is good and he wants the best for us and there is um, a holy mother there for us. Some of us may not be lucky enough to have a motherly figure who shows us love and care and support. And I think just saying the prayers um, really reiterates that message. Um, and I think we should, we can all find comfort in saying the rosary. Yeah. And you know, there are a lot of young people who don't know about God. Yeah. What would you tell them? What is God? Who is God? <sighs> I know it, that is really really hard I think we're all just searching um, for the meaning of life why we're here um, we all want to know why there's wrong in the world and bad in the world and I think the easiest thing to do is to blame God and to turn yourself away from religion that is the easiest thing and praying is the hardest believing is the hardest um, because that just means that you know you're giving up what everyone around you is saying and I want the young people to to choose the hard way and to try to believe and and um, and practice and reach out to others and mm -hmm. and talk mm -hmm. and talk truthfully about how you feel mm -hmm. and maybe have open discussions about religion um, and I, yeah and what would you tell people what is so special about Medjugorje <sighs> I think everybody who talks to you mm -hmm. and who you'll talk to here will just say the peace. Mm -hmm. And it is true because you just feel instantly relaxed. 
that your worries go away. We're all here praying together and showing each other so much love and happiness and kindness. And everybody smiles at you because we all know we're all here searching for the one thing and that is love and happiness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for this beautiful interview. You're welcome.